When asked how it all started, I always tell that it all began that day when we went to Botanical Gardens. We, meaning yours truly, and two of my friends. Whose idea was it to visit the abandoned station? Who persuaded the others to go? I always tell them that I don't remember. I always lie. It is a safe lie. Or there is no way to ascertain the truth. Both Vitaly and Eugene are dead now. The massive airlock doors shrugged and opened with a grinding sound, opening a road to hell for us and a road into the metro for the demons. But in fact it all started that day when Mother said we should take a walk in the botanical gardens and go there by metro. I remember how we took a short escalator to the surface, how we exited a spacious glass pavilion and saw a street buried in green. I remember the small clouds moving across the limitless sky, and soft, cool wind on my face. Mother bought me an ice cream. That was the last time I tasted it. That day humanity was executed. The righteous and the sinful were called to be rendered according to their deeds. And we hid from God's sight in the metro. And we were saved from his wrath. And he apparently decided that flushing us out wasn't worth the trouble. Then he went about his business or perhaps died while we stayed on this used up and discarded earth and continued just going with it, going nowhere. I remember so many random, unnecessary things, yet I don't remember the most important one. My mother's face. She died very soon after the war started. All that remains of her is that day in the gardens. How I wished I could recall her face. The way she looked at me, the way she whispered that I have nothing to fear. I'd sell my soul just to recall that. I'd do that any day, any time. And I did. Dark ones came much later, from the garden's direction. The dark ones, huge, towering a full head over the highest man. Nightmarish creatures, creepy as a man turned inside out. Monsters born to destroy us. The word was they were incredibly strong and unnaturally evil that with bare paws they could tear armed men apart. Hm. That's all lies. <laughs> Truth is even scarier. Well, I used to live nearby. Before the war, I mean, uh, up there. I was on the train when it happened. I tried calling my family, but couldn't get through. What the? What happened? Shit!
Artyom. Wake up, Artyom. It's me, Khan. Nightmares, eh? No wonder, after all you've been through. Listen, I have incredible news. A couple of days ago, I was near the ruins of the Dark One's hive, and I saw one of them, still alive. I immediately set out to find you, as you were the one they tried to contact, before you launched the missile strike against them. Khan! How the hell did you get here? Get out! Now! Yes, Ullman, one moment. If a Dark One has survived, it is vital that you try to speak with it, Artyom. I realize that, as one of the Order now, you report to Miller. But we must persuade him to allow this mission. Khan! I told you to get out! This is a classified base. You shouldn't even be here. I'll take you to Colonel Miller. Follow me, Artyom. Get ready, Artyom. I'll be waiting at the exit. Move it, you windbag! I knew a smoker once. During the last year of his life, he had to eat, drink... Construction started in Stalin's time and went on until the USSR broke down. War was inevitable, they said. And the people believed in a better. And the D6? No, it couldn't reach the time. Here, it stood for 30 years. Привет, Артём. Артём was one of the men who found D6. They gave him a ranger's badge on the spot. Yeah, that's nice for him. I had to spend two years as a cadet before they accepted me into the Order. Well, anyway, uh, where were we? I suppose it's nice down here, since they got the reactor working. The lights, the heat... It still feels like our patrol outside could be the last. Did you hear what happened to Romanov's group? Romanov? Come on, you have five more sets of 30! <laughs> Look at those two rookies. Pathetic. Doing good. No wonder Carry the colonel ordered the training time double. Sharper! Move sharper! You're shitting me. Keep your back the rest of the group? Wiped out? See, you just look for the markers and flags and walk along them so you don't drown. A child could do it. But come on, what could take a whole squad down? They found Romanov's alone at the church, sitting on the floor praying. Since then, he doesn't eat, doesn't react to people, he just speaks to God. <laughs> Hello, Artyom. Welcome to the armory. I hear you're a ranger now, huh? We must get a drink some time to celebrate. For now, let's get you equipped. So, first things first. You're going to need a gas mask. You can't make a step on the surface without a gas mask. It's been 20 years and the radiation's still strong enough in some places to boil water. There are hot spots down here in the metro, too. Don't forget filters for the mask. Sure, it looks cool enough even without these, but they definitely make it better for your health. Now med kits. Well, what can I say? Anything you need for survival in a stylish orange case. Here's your advanced salary for this month. Remember, your pay is in military-grade rounds. Sure, you can use them as usual ammo for some hefty extra damage, but saving them to buy guns, attachments, regular ammo and equipment from merchants anywhere in the metro seems like a smarter move. Ha <laughs> ha! 
All right, now to the good stuff, huh? Let's get you some guns. Take the ones you want and try them out on my range. Rangers usually carry up to three weapons, Artyom, and the choice of those is completely up to you. Shotguns are always good for stopping power at close range. <laughs> Just don't go to... All right, Artyom. Head over to my range and try out those... Come back if you want to... Hey, Artyom. Put on the show for me, huh? Try out the rest of the weapons you chose. Try shooting for the second of the regular dummy chip. Good shot! Now shoot the armor. Notice the difference? It's going to take more bullets to penetrate that armor. Look for sparks to know when you're the target. Try a headshot. That's a critical hit. Notice the difference? Those are the basics. You can keep practicing if you want, or head on up to Miller's briefing. We're gonna get irradiated here for damn sure. No way, the base is clear. At least the part we're in. They've checked it. Yesterday, the commander and I checked the doors. Lots of them are still sealed. Some are welded shut. And there's a few that look like they were locked from inside. So there's, there's shit behind some of those doors. Hot enough to bake an egg. Look, there's a reactor here, right? On the other side of the facility. I'm not sure it's safe here. Maybe this place wasn't designed as a shelter. What else? No idea, but I wouldn't fuck with any of the sealed doors. Just calling the group leaders in. There's going to be a big assembly. Please, we'll sit, let me smoke in peace. I was on duty in the Situation Room yesterday, so I heard something. Seems like there's all kinds of things stirring up. What do you mean? The Reds are mobilizing. They've recruited old men, schoolboys. Sent them off to training camps. I tell you, war is coming. Who are they going to fight? The usual suspects, probably. The Nazis. That reminds me. The sentry stops I spotted three recon groups of Reich stalkers. Strange. The Nazis have never been outside in such numbers before. Three groups, you said? Where? Two of the squads came close to this place. Serbia saw them. The Nazis checked the vents, cellars, as if they were searching for an entry point. Shit. Think they know we found D6? Hard to say. Maybe. It's not good. If they do try to get in, they're finished. Miller has tripled the guards. True. He knows about the Nazis. But if we eliminate the scouts, they'll just seem more. But if they do get in, you think the Order can hold off the Reich? Slow down. The Order is neutral. We are the guardians of the entire Metro. We protect our fellow humans from monsters and mutants. What state would dare go to war against us? Let me finish the story. It was a third group of Nazis, remember? They were seen at exhibition in surface. We had sentries there, scalpel most. They were reporting in, so the Nazis were charging them. And the line went dead. Wait. Rost is missing in action? No, not missing. He was found dead, along with Scalp. A dozen rounds in each one. Finished with headshots. Shit. It was just his birthday last week. We had a drink. What kind of sick fucker would do that to him? And where in the hell did he come from? So, you're an expert on hell and its denizens? Pay no attention to this clown, Alex. 
Open the gates. Have you heard about Lesnitsky? What are you talking about? Check on the guards at the lab. Code 44. What the hell did he do? Opening up. All right, let's go. The tombs of ancient kings were filled with whatever they might need in the afterlife. Weapons, gold, chariots. They'd sacrifice their wives and slaves to serve their lords, even in death. Reminds me of this bunker. Cut that shit out! The things in D6 are like what the Conqueror took with him beyond the grave. Gold steel, and wild steeds, and treasures untold. Of course, the Tomb Raiders were like this dark killed by demons or ghosts, or their own greed. Come, will you shut up or what? Hey! I heard that Lesnitsky did something! What happened? Nobody knows! Lesnitsky was... The door was open, and the lab ransacked. Lisnitsky was gone. Shit! So, what's inside? God damn it. The colonel's going to tear me a new one because of Lesnitsky. The red hot poker right into my soul. Alright, let's go. We might control D6, but it's like a damn city down here. All the bunkers, the nooks and crannies and exits. Still, we base the order dream will find it. You guys just came back from the ring. They say Hansa is strengthening the sentry points along the whole line. Especially the ones close to Miller ordered for Hey, Kruma, take these guys the to Miller. They've been summoned. Why the summons? Yes, sir. I hear the Reds are mobilizing. All right, go on Maybe in. Hansa I'll wait here. What's that? When you've gone, I'll People speak to Miller. The Reds are sending their agents into Hansa and neutral stations. Looks like they're onto something. The bombing of the Dark Ones may have been humanity's worst mistake. What if they meant us no harm, but were trying to communicate? Perhaps the severe pain and loss of consciousness suffered in their presence just meant we were incompatible. Machines with different wiring. But somehow you, Artyom, have the common wire. The connection with the Dark Ones. Yes, people died at exhibition. Your home station. Hunter, the best of the Order, is most likely dead as well. And he taught you this. If we don't fight for our lives in this new world, we'll be devoured. It is the law of evolution. But I would argue, the old laws no longer apply. All right, Artyom, and you, God, you have something to report? Let's keep it short, then. I located the surviving Dark One at the gardens. What? One of those things is still alive? Luckily, yes. Luckily? Come! This is utter madness! The Dark Ones were the greatest threat the Order's ever faced! Go, just give me a chance. A single Dark One is no threat. Artyom has a gift. I believe he can establish contact with the creature. All right. Artyom, go with Khan to the gardens and locate the Dark One. I'll send a sniper along. My best. Anna! Yes, sir. Why would we need a sniper? To eliminate the creature and finish the Order's job! Miller, you can't! It's murder! Restrain him! You idiot! You're making the same mistake that... We're done here. Escort Khan out of here. Artyom, it's your last chance for forgiveness, for getting rid of the nightmares! Forget about Khan. Looks like he got close, too close to the creature and lost his mind. 
Look here, Artyom. Complete the mission, and get back here quickly. A war is coming, and I'll need every ranger at his post. On your way. So, what are you waiting for? Come along, rabbit. Artyom, if it's true that the Dark Ones can sense you, maybe you could draw it out from hiding so Anna can have a clear shot. But do me a favor, huh? Don't let the Dark One get into your mind, or Anna will have two targets. Is that understood? We now suspect Lesnitsky was a sleeper agent, but we haven't verified who's running him. Your job is to intercept him before he delivers the stolen container. Understood? Yes, sir. If Lesnitsky escapes with the container, the entire metro is at risk. So if you can't take him alive, you can't believe him. Don't tell me you believe that bullshit about making peace with the Dark Ones. I wish I had been up in that tower myself to see the missiles fall and watch. Come on, Rabbit. Would you let those things into the Metro? Let them crawl into our brains so they could use us like animals. Maybe we could mate with them so the children could live on the surface and feed off the radiation. Shit. You don't shake hands with the Devil. Please step away from the edge of the platform. Train coming in. All right, hop in like a good little rabbit. We'll move more news when they out. Let's move. Just a year ago, I stood on top of the TV tower and saw missiles rain on the botanical gardens, turning the flesh into ashes, smelting metal and glass. Nobody and nothing could survive that inferno, yet Khan did find a dark one there. Now my mission is to find and eliminate it, to finish what I started. <laughs> 